Hello YouTube, my name is Cam199 and today I'm going to be showing you how to remove that it's not really an error thing, but it's like the activate windows thing, the the text that you'll get down here, it's kind of translucent, but it can get in the way of games, it can get in the way of just whatever, it's really fucking annoying and it's down in the corner here. Now it's not the one where it's like build and it's got a random number, I'll show you on screen in the screenshot thing, um, it's like activate windows and it will be that gay shit. Now I believe this is when you have a fake version of windows, but it's actually pretty easy to fix it. I've always tried other ways to fix it and everything, and they only ever lasted until I restarted the computer, or they only ever lasted a couple of days. This one is actually permanent. This is not bullshit. This is an actual permanent solution. The catch is, it's not, you do it once and it's there. You have to do it every week or so, because it'll say Windows is about to expire, and then you just run it again, and it's all good. Um, and it's really simple to run it as well. So... I'm going to show you how to do that. Also, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in so long. This is the second time recording this, but the first time it was really long, so I decided to like shorten it down. Now, I'm also going to explain it a bit better. Sorry, I just bumped the microphone if that sounded bad. Now, I'm also going to actually show you part by part how to do it, except for downloading uTorrent, because I know some people can find it quite confusing. Now, what you want to do, first thing, go back, is download uTorrent. You want to click on Get uTorrent for Windows. I do other platforms, but this is a Windows computer. This is only a Windows problem, so Windows. Now get you trying for Windows again, and this download will start. I'm just going to cancel it, but what you want to do is run it. I'm sorry if I'm talking a bit fast, but what you are going to want to do is run that, and then you will have you trying like this, but you will not have anything in it. I have a lot of shit in here. I don't even have the download in it yet because it's so small I can show you how to do it, and some people complain about they can't do it and stuff. So you see I've got a shit ton of uh, downloads in here. Now what you want to do next, once this is open and you'll have nothing in here, because you have to install it and go next, next. It's pretty simple. Now, the second link is going to be an AdFly link like this. Now, what you're going to want to do, once it does this, do not click anything in the middle. It's all bullshit in the middle. There just adds it's a way for them to make money. Now, what you want to do up here, you'll say, please wait for three seconds. Now, what we're going to do is wait two, one, and then we'll click the skip ad button. Now, what this will do is open a magnet URL up here. Now, for you, it may not do it instantly. You may have to click OK or something. But for me, it automatically starts. Now this is a kill my service thing, auto, which I thought was bullshit at first because it always never works and I thought it was a virus, but this one actually does work, so I don't know if it's a different version or whatever. I have Windows 10 by the way, I don't know, if you have different issues then maybe you might want to get a different version, also you see how fast this is downloading, kind of lagging as well, don't know if you try crashing, no it's loading a fucking ad of course, oh god, don't be a video ad, don't be a video ad, don't be a video ad, just please don't be a video ad. I fucking hate video ads. Alright, for some reason this is all freezing up. I don't know why. Can you stop freezing up? Okay. My computer's just having a seizure right now. Alright, well, you see how this is downloading or whatever. 99.1, it should have already finished. Why is it still loading that? Alright, and you'll see the download complete. Now, we've... I'm using Google Chrome, I don't know how it will work on Internet Explorer, but the first time you do this, it's going to have a little pop-up box, and it will say, "Are you? Sh this is trying to open an app, or what app do you want to use this with? Choose uTorrent, or if you have BitTorrent, BitTorrent, uh, they both do the same thing. Now, once that's all done, this is the magnet URL here, and you see why I don't just paste this, because it will be extremely confusing to some people, and that's what starts the download pretty much in this. Now, once it's done, you'll see it's seeding. It shouldn't take long. To finish and you just want to right click on where it's a seeding and stop it now you can seed it especially with larger downloads it can be helpful to other people but this is such a small file it really doesn't make a difference seeding just means other people can download it faster or something like that i don't really know now once it's finished you can just double click on it to open it and you see now if for people complaining about viruses they left a web link in here so you can just double click on this and look at virus total i don't know what language this is or anything but you can check all viruses there was one at the bottom which is like I don't know if you re can read Russian or whatever the fuck this is. Um, I think that just means they haven't checked it because it looks like a clock. But you see, there's no viruses. It's all good. Um, if you complain about a virus or anything, I'm, it's possibly from clicking something else and not doing it, as I said. I have no viruses on my computer right now. I mean, I get ads and shit, but that's like normal with these uTorrent things. Uh, but no viruses. My computer's clean. I'm not going to fucking install viruses on my computer and piss people off doing that. I'm not some retard or anything. So once that's all done, you can see... like. Oh, that's all good. The read me if you want to read the instructions in English, uh, French, whatever the fuck. Uh, you can read those if you want. 
Now, apparently this works with... Additionally, the program activates Windows 8.1 single language, Windows 8.1 core, Core N, Pro M WMC, Embedded 8.1 Industry Pro, Server 2012. Now, it doesn't have 10 in there. Oh, additionally, so it also works with Vista 7, 8, 8.1, 10, Server 8, and it works with all these things. Now, it works with my computer. I do, I did want to show you it actually removing it, but I tried deactivating it. You actually need a number and all that shit, so I don't know. Wait, what's this? This might do it. CMS Cleaner. I want to click this, but I'm worried because it says clearing system. This might actually show it up. I'm not sure. Sorry, I didn't uh, check that one before, but you'll see this KMS Auto Net. Now, what you just want to do is double click on that. And I hope there's no music. Okay. Now, you'll see the shit loading in. It does look like a virus type of thing, but, you know, it's free. So your system is activated. Now it tells me, because my system's already activated, it's not gonna do really do anything. But you, what you wanna do is, just to go to activation, activate Windows. Now what I did before was activate Office and then I activated Windows as a second thing. Just activate Windows. Now I'm not sure if it'll give me all the settings. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. So it's going to activate all this random shit. I don't know what it's fucking doing. You can read it if you want. But, pretty sure that just finished it. Why the fuck is my computer lagging? But yeah, that's, um, you just click activate and activate Windows or if you want Office installed, you can do Office or whatever. But it really is that simple. I don't know how else I can explain it. I don't know how someone else hasn't made a video on this. But it's as simple as that. If you have any problems with this, what the fuck? Okay, I'm shutting this down. Normally, I get a virus warning thing here, but... I don't know, maybe it's in a different thing, but... There's no viruses in this stuff. There is... I'm not going to install virus on my computer. I'm not going to waste your time doing that shit. So, yeah, if this doesn't work for you, you can add me on Skype or something. Maybe it doesn't work with your version. I can try to help you out with a different version or, or something. Like, maybe it doesn't work with your Windows. I don't really know how to explain it, but my name is Ken London 9 Hopefully, this helped you. Sorry I haven't been active lately, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.